Hi friends, welcome to Kodai Linux. This session we are going to compare between grep, egrep and fgrep. So in the previous session we learnt about the grep command, egrep command, various options of the grep command, the regular expressions. There are two types of regular expressions, basic regular expressions and extended regular expressions. So we learnt all these things. So this session we are going to learn about fgrep also and what is the difference between uh, these grips, these variations of grip commands and also we are going to learn about the zgrep command. So to search, search for patterns in zip files. So we know about the definition of grip. What is fgrep? fgrep stands for fastest grip. And fgrep cannot interpret the special meaning of regular expressions. It treats the pattern as a plain string. Whatever you pa pattern you specify to the fgrep command, it treats that as a plain string. It doesn't have the capability of understanding the special meaning of regular expression. It cannot interpret the regular expressions. So even if your pattern happens to contain some regular expression characters, they would be treated as ordinary characters in the input file. They would be treated as ordinary characters. Because it can understand only the plain string as pattern without interpreting special meaning of regular expressions, fgrep is the fastest grip. Why means fgrep code would be much, much smaller compared to the code of grep and egrep because grep can interpret uh, special meaning of a set of regular expressions. So uh, interpreting every regular expression, it would be a function. So you have, uh, grep would, con would come, with, come along with a set of functions uh, which would interpret special meaning of some regular expression. Egrep, some more additional functions. So uh, grep code would be a bigger, egrep's code would be still bigger. But fgrep's code would be smaller compared with the other two grips. Hence, fgrep grip could load faster compared to the grep and egrep. So that way, it's called as fastest grip. So when you are individually executing the grip on the command line, you won't realize the significance of that. But if you are executing in a script inside a loop, you are calling grip then you would know how much grip is optimized of how much f grip is optimized compared to grip and e grip as f grip doesn't have the code related to interpret special meaning of regular expressions f grip loads faster compared to grip and uh, e grip e grip or e grip or r grip r grip is the recursive grip right that is we can search for files recursively starting from the current directory. Okay, fgrep syntax, fgrep pattern files, fgrep hyphen e pattern, hyphen e pattern to files. That is, if you want to specify multiple patterns, you can give it. fgrep can support all the options supported by grep except the hyphen capital E option. Hyphen capital E is for ext extended regular expressions, right? But fgrep doesn't support them. So, except that it can support all the other options and fgrep cannot interpret regular expression okay then we have the zgrep so zgrep syntax zgrep pattern file1.gz file2.gz file1.gz zgrep hyphen e pattern 1 hyphen e pattern 2 so and so so what is what does zgrep do when you have a zip file, when you have a zip file uh, and um, you, are, you have some file system restriction like uh, your zip file is a very big file and um, you are working in some production server or you are working in some dev server also, that is also fine. But in that dev server, you have some space constraints. Okay. So your zip file is very, very big log file and uh, you can't uh, unzip it. If you are unzipping it, 
the unzipped uh, file would also reside in the hard disk but you have the uh, restriction of the uh, how much uh, the quota rest the storage space restriction you have so you won't you can't unzip and then keep it in the disk but what is the uh, requirement is the like so your requirement is like okay you want to check if some patterns are there in the file and you want to do some pattern searching and then do some action like you want to display all the lines containing the matching pattern okay so you want to basically grip for it you want to basically look for lines containing the matching pattern that is your requirement in that case you don't need to unzip it and then uh, unzip it and then get the unzipped file just is that grips is that grip would do is that grip would serve the purpose so in that case we can very well um, use the is that grip to get all the lines that contain the matching pattern from the zipped file okay so let us work with f grip and is that grip first let us work with f grip okay we have a grip test file cat grip test file let us suppose that i want to match beginners beginner okay i want to match this okay from the file grip test file but grip is giving a an error like unmatched square bracket you have an open square bracket so grep for grep opening square bracket has got a special meaning it's a what is what is that it's a character class regular expression so character class regular expression it, it is a pair of square bracket within that you can have a set of characters or a range of characters so it would match one a single character any of the those characters single occurrence of any of those characters right so it assumes that it is a i have given the character class so b e g i these are all characters in the character class and uh, but there it is expecting a closing square bracket it is not that that is the reason it is coming out and telling that yeah, unmatched square bracket like that it is giving the error so but i don't want the special meaning of opening square bracket to, to be interpreted one way to take care of that is that you prefix that square bracket with a slash that is one way so this way what we are doing we are removing the special meaning of square bracket so when you want to remove the special meaning of special character we can do so by prefixing that with the escape character okay that is the backslash so now it matches and it displays the line correct it matches the pattern there is another way there is yet another way so wherein you don't have to you don't even have to prefix with a slash you don't even have to escape the special meaning of square bracket how is that f grep because as i told you that f grep can't interpret the special meaning of any reg regular expression character any special character that is regular expression square bracket doesn't have any special meaning to f grep hence it would consider as an ordinary character so it matches it so one thing is that if your pattern happens to have some regular expression so like some special character okay but you don't want to interpret the special meaning of that you want it to be treated as an ordinary character then you can use f grep that is one thing or if you are using a pattern which is a simple pattern which doesn't have any regular expression okay then also you can use f grep because f grep is the optimized whenever you have a requirement of matching only a plain pattern then f grep is much more optimized than grep and e grep it can ex it, it it executes faster so if you are using particularly if you are using in a script many a times maybe if you are using inside a loop 
wherein it may be called a number of times then also you can consider or in a script you are calling so many places you are calling the grip uh, okay for matching the patterns you you want to match patterns at so many places uh, but uh, it so happens that in many of those places you don't want to use regular expressions you just your requirement is that you just match some simple pattern simple plain text then you can always go for the f grip okay that is the significance of the f grip command now let us look at the z grip okay what is the purpose of the z grip command okay clear there is a file called large file dot txt wc hyphen l large file dot txt there are some some 5697 lines okay so let us suppose that okay let us just have a look at that maybe first few lines of the file okay it's something like this maybe i want to match this thing something okay habitas plateau something i want to match okay maybe this i want to match okay so but the thing is that let us just imagine that this large file dot txt you know dot txt you know so let us suppose that this uh, happens to be in the form of a gz file okay that is zip file how do you zip it gzip large file dot txt so we zip it we zip it okay so ls hyphen l large file dot txt dot gz as soon as you zip it no it will um, become zip file and it will be suffixed with the dot gz extension now it is in the form of a zip file okay now i want to grip for, grip on it what i can do z grip and i want to grip for a pattern okay so i want to grip for a pattern z grip hyphen a okay large file dot txt dot gz okay so i need to let me check what are the characters in that what are the what is the content in that okay this is the content maybe let me just look for something in this okay okay so i'll look for this okay so is it grip Execute that zcat large file dot txt. Okay, so U R N A N U N C something. Okay, so is that grip? Okay, something will give T R I S T I Q E E T. Okay, we'll try to match it. Large file dot txt dot G Z. So is that grip what is that grip what it will do in whichever line this particular pattern this t r i s t i q u e t that is there it will match all those lines okay so so it has done exactly that so it has matched those lines which contains a pattern which contains this pattern okay fine so is that grip can be used wherein we want to Uh, we want to grip in a zipped file okay wherein we have a restriction that we cannot unzip it and store it in the disk but our purpose is to just our requirement is that we just want to grip for some patterns in the file in that case we can go for is that grip okay
and z group also we have okay one thing is that we have the z group we have z f group okay which is similar to f group so if you want to do f group in a zip file that is without expanding the special meaning of uh, regular expressions then you can use z of grip z e grip is there okay so all these things are there let us see whether we have z or grip that is not there okay so z or grip is not there but no need to worry about that why because z grip hyphen or we can give if you want to recursively search in the files uh, in a set of zip files then you can always give z z grip hyphen or then the pattern we can give and then something like file star dot gz something like that we can give okay so hyphen or option is similar to e executing z or grep or something like that you don't have anything like z or grep eh, there is no issue in that you can I always uh, issue the hyphen or option you have z of grep and z e grep and z grep these are the variations of the z grep okay With this, we have come to the conclusion of today's session. I hope this session would have been useful to you. Uh, and if you are yet to subscribe, you can subscribe to the channel uh, by clicking on the subscribe button. And then you can click on the bell icon for getting the frequent updates. Okay, Thank you. See you in the next class. Okay, Take care. All the very best. Bye-bye.